one of my questions to Passport Bro. Why can't you make it work with black women in America? And what kind of black women are you encountering? Are you encountering the stereotypical low river type? ghetto good, ghetto fabulous black woman, because if that's what you're attracting, no wonder. But if you're looking for a conservative woman with values, morals, where are you looking for these women at? Because apparently, you, the passport bros, have no clue either, either, whichever one, where to find these good black women at. Because there's a lot of good quality, high, high value systems. Where the hell are y'all finding women at? I mean, seriously. Come on, passport bros. Give me an answer. Where are you finding women at that are making you want to reinvest in another country and community? I don't understand it. And why can't you change your your stuff up. You know, if you're going to the clubs trying to find your wife, good luck. Conservative, high value, high quality black women like that, they don't hang out at the nightclubs. They don't hang out at places like that. You want to know where those women are? At home chilling. Waiting on you. Seriously. All right, I'm going to see if I can answer this brother's question. Uh, I don't know if he's trolling or he honestly doesn't know what's going on. Maybe he does know what's going on and he just wants a legitimate question. I mean, answer to his question. I think it's a good question and I think it deserves an answer. So let me see if I can answer it to the best of my ability. The reason why the, short answer is, the reason why Passport Brothers don't want to make things work out with black women is because we tried for decades. We're done. We asked black women to be fit, feminine, and friendly and stop all the masculine stuff. And they said, well, no, you have to accept us for the way we are. We don't have to. We can go overseas and we could deal with fit, friendly, and feminine women in Brazil, Colombia, Philippines, Thailand. So the bottom line is the black women doesn't bring value to us. And the black women look at us as valueless as well. So as long as the two sides look at each other as having no value, we're never going to be able to negotiate anything. Black men are not going to submit to black women. It has to be the other way around. It has to be the way God meant it to be. God didn't make man to submit to women. God made women from man to submit to the man. In the Bible, it says that women are supposed to submit themselves unto their husbands as if they're submitting themselves to God. And men are supposed to submit themselves to Christ. That's the way it goes. It's the chain of command. And as long as we buck those chains of command, there's nothing to negotiate. You also said that there are traditional women, traditional black women in the black community sitting at home. Here's the, here's the two issues I have with that. One, if you're a traditional woman, you have to separate yourself from the 304 culture. You cannot walk around wearing 304 uniforms and expect a traditional man to talk to you. We're not. We're just another thought in our eyes. Two, you said they're home waiting for us. Well, if they're home waiting for us, I don't know about you, but I don't plan to kick down any doors to look to try to talk to any women. So these women have to make themselves available. And if they're not available, then there's nothing we can really do. Anyway, um, that's my take on things. Hopefully I answered your question to the best of my ability. And if not, hopefully somebody else will come along and give you a better definition of why Passport Brothers is not going to work things out with, with black women. 
Anyway, I'm Andre Brooks, your favorite intel, and I'll see y'all on the next video.